How's it going guys? I'm Brooke from Omarsh and today we're going to go over the proper steps to install the VersaVest on your dog as well as fit it properly. So when you receive your VersaVest, first step you're going to want to do is of course unbox it. And it comes with clear instructions here. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow the instructions and I'm going to show you how to properly install the vest on your dog. Once you have the VersaVest out of the box, what you're going to want to do is disassemble it and the way it's packaged. You've got five main components. You've got the neck panel here. You've got the back left cover panel, back right cover panel, back left main panel, back right main panel. What we're going to want to do is set the two cover panels aside because these are going to be the last step of the fitment process. So put those aside for now. We're going to start with the two back main panels. Simply zip them together with the oversized zipper and then take your chest panel here, install it onto the main panel just like a regular vest. You're just going to make it look like a dog vest. And keep in mind that the Velcro is what allows this vest to adjust and size, tailor fit your dog. So start off loose because it's going to be easier to put on your dog for the initial fitment. Same thing on the other side. Now you've got a dog vest. So unzip it. And now we're ready to install it on the dog. So once you have the VersaVest assembled and it's ready for fitment, what you're going to want to do, unzip the back and have the dog put its arms through the two armholes. Today I've got Oakley with me. Oakley is 40 pounds soaking wet. She's on the smaller side of, of a waterfowl dog, but we're going to show you how the VersaVest can be tailor fit to fit a dog such as Oakley. So put her arms through the holes. And remember, we want it loose on the dog at first because we're going to tighten it up to get the best fit possible to get the proper size. So we're going to go smaller to fit a dog such as Oakley. Now that we've got it sized right, we're going to go ahead and address some of the shape issues that we've got here. You can see there's a little hole here. What we need to do, just simply change the angle of approach on the chest piece and it's going to get rid of that hole. Same thing on the side. Oakley's a young dog, so she doesn't have a big belly. So we can go ahead and make everything correct. We've got the armholes addressed. Got a little hole here, so we'll just tighten that up a fuzz. Get rid of that there. There you have it. Do it on both sides. Spend some time during this process, because this is the only time you're ever going to have to adjust the vest to fit your dog. So if you do it right, spend some time with it, the vest is going to fit better the more time you spend. Once you've got it fit, appropriately for your dog. Uninstall it by using the zipper on the back. This vest is ready to go and all we have to do now is lock everything in place with the replacement cover panels. Here we've got the OptiFade Marsh cover panels. All we're going to want to do is use this ring D-ring slit here as a guide. There. Put the cover panel on, locking everything in place and take your time with this process. You want to make sure all the edges are right, everything's locked in. You can choose to stow your handle and D-ring or not. What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to take this handle out and let it be exposed. Now everything's locked in place. The Velcro is completely protected from debris, mud, ice, so you're never going to have any issues there. Same thing on the other side. You've got a D-ring slit here as well as on the cover panel. So we're going to line all that up, make it line up very nice and tidy. Now everything is good to go. So once you've got to this point, you now have an appropriately fit VersaVest. You don't need to deal with the Velcro anymore. You're just going to use that oversized zipper here on the back and you're ready to go. We're going to install this vest on Oakley and we're going to show you guys what a great looking dog vest looks like. Put your arms through these little holes here. There you go. Good girl. So when you install the VersaVest on your dog, you want it to be tight. If it's not tight, it's not going to work properly. The reason it needs to be tight is because if it's not, we're going to get things such as sticks, cold air, cold water in it. So you can see here we've got the vest fit on Oakley. We've got no gaps in the arms. The chest looks great. She's happy. She's warm and it's tight. You can see I can't get my hand in there. I can get a finger or two in some of these holes, but this vest is fit appropriately for a dog this size. She's going to be happy, warm, and more, most importantly, protected. So that's how you install the VersaVest. We appreciate you guys watching. As always, here at MoMarsh, we set out to make the best products in the world with the VersaVest. We really feel like we've done that. If you have any questions or ever have any concerns, give our team of professionals a call. We'll be happy to help you.